Today we are in the beautiful Haines, Alaska. We decided to take a side trip from the Yukon to come explore this beautiful fishing town. We're starting off by exploring downtown and our first stop is the Hammer Museum. Unfortunately, we weren't able to go into the Hammer Museum. My card has been having problems with the swipe and the chip. Um, and only the tap has been working and we don't have any cash on us. It's $7 to go in and we got a glimpse. It looks really cool. There's a ton of hammers in there. <laughs> it's not really my cup of tea, but it still would have been cool to check out. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, definitely stop in there and check it out. For sure. Now we're just going to walk downtown and check out all the little stores here. First stop is... Alaska Rods. Alaska Rods. That was a really cute little store. Everything in there, well, most things in there were handcrafted by the locals around here. And they have over a hundred artists that make stuff for that store. So that was really cool. Yeah, it's pretty neat. And we just found where we are going to have some dinner later. Right over there. I've heard they have really great fish and chips, so. We're excited to try it. Yeah. Will's on a mission. He really wants to see this store. So, I'm gonna go check it out. Okay. So we just spent about the last 40 minutes exploring downtown here in Haines, and it seems like most things are closed. So, if you come to Haines, don't come on a Monday. Seems or like Tuesday. Tuesday also. I think the boats must not come in as much on Monday or Tuesday. That's my hypothesis. Um, uh, but it seems like the rest of the week's fair game, but Monday's not as great. So now we are going to check out the visitor center. It's actually open. Unfortunately, the restaurant we wanted to go to is closed. It was called the Bamboo Room and it has their world famous halibut and chips. Um, so instead of going there because it's closed, we're going to go to that restaurant over there. So this restaurant's reviews are kind of all over the place. A lot of people say the fish and chips there are the best fish and chips they've ever had or it's really good. And then there's some reviews that are just saying how horrible the restaurant is and the food is awful, the service is awful, so. We'll gonna, let you know. Yeah, we'll let you know <laughs> what our experience is like there and if the fish and chips is actually good. All right, what are your thoughts on the food? Um. It wasn't bad, but it definitely wasn't the best I've had. Um, the you've view, only, though... You've only had fish and chips like three times. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'd say it was... I don't know. It seemed like a very average fish and chips to me. It was. Um, but the view from the restaurant was not average at all. That was yeah. the best view I've ever had from a restaurant. So The view was beautiful. Fish and chips, mediocre. Mm -hmm. um, they weren't bad, but not amazing. I've definitely had a lot better fish and chips. Fries the, were okay. The calamari was... Not my favorite. I prefer like the ring calamari with that it's like really crispy and like flaky crispy. And this was just like big slabs of thick calamari with like the same breading the fish had, which I don't really care for. But if you're in Haines and don't have any other option, it's not like a bad option. Yeah. It's just not going to be best. the best food you're, you're ever going to have probably. Mm -hmm. So now we are at the Haines Harbor. And we're going to check out all the cool ships down here. Ships? Boats? Sailboats. Sailboats. I wish there were ships. That would be cool. Well, there's some that kind of look like little mini ships. Last time we were at a harbor, we decided to each pick which boat was our favorite. So we're going to do that here too. It's going to be fun. That one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think so. It's a little, wee bit little. I pointed out this blue one from the restaurant and I said it looked like a more blue version of our van sinking. Oh no, hope to never see our van sink. So far the options haven't been great, but this one is our favorite so far. It's a nice little sailing ship. Um, still, I was hoping for better. 
After exploring the docks, we decided to head towards the tiny fishing community of Mud Bay to find a place to spend the night. We found a beautiful camp spot off a quiet road on I Overlander. Overall, Haynes had some of the best dispersed camping spots we have ever found with epic mountain and glacier views from every campsite. While there was potable water available from a spigot at the gas station in town, we also found a natural spring where people can fill water near Mud Bay. On the way back to town, we stopped at this beautiful little arts and crafts store. It had so many handcrafted souvenirs and we had a pleasant time chatting with the owner. Today we're at Chilkoot Lake State Recreation Area and this place is famous for having a lot of bears and a lot of eagles. So we came by here to hopefully see some bears and see some eagles. We already saw a bunch of eagles and one bear, but we're hoping to see a lot more. Yeah, it's really pretty water. It's about 15 minutes out of Haines, um, but it's one of the, the best places I know of to see bears in Alaska that doesn't require a fly-in or boat-in. And the views here are just incredible. Should be fun. We're gonna walk down this road and see what we can see. There's lots of fishermen, mm -hmm. um, but we're hoping to see bears fishing. Yeah, got our, our big lenses. Yep. Ready to get some <laughs> awesome shots. Ready to go. We're gonna head down the road a little bit that way and just Check it out. Krista is all camouflaged here, wearing her Glacial Lake, Glacial River camouflage. I can't even see her. All I see is a pair of white Crocs walking. It's kind of mysterious. So we're just walking down the road and I heard really pretty bird calls. And I didn't realize that that's what an eagle sounded like. So I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, that was exciting. Yeah. Saw a couple, a couple of bald eagles. I think that takes our count up to like four for the day or something, five. Yeah, um, I love bird eagles. Mm -hmm. if, uh, if you come here in November and December, there's like up to like 5,000 bald eagles that gather here in this little area. So that's quite a lot. Um, that is a lot. Yeah, I don't think there's anywhere else on earth where that many bald eagles gather, so it's pretty cool. This is where we saw the bear and two seals. I think we saw two seals. Yeah. We saw the bear standing right over there at the end. And then the seals were just having a blast swimming around over here. Then there's some fishermen uh, just down there. This must uh, be the best place to uh, be fishing right now. Because all down the rest of the river, there's lots of fishermen. So we only saw one bear and about like five or six eagles at the last place we were at. And now we drove back through Haines and we're just gonna do this hike called Chilkat State Park Battery Point Trailhead. So you can actually start this trail at the cruise ship terminal and it'll be around 13 kilometers. But if you wanna make it shorter and you have a vehicle or a bike, you can drive down the road a little bit and you'll have only half a hike to do. So most of this hike was a fairly nice path through the forest and now we've come to an intersection at this opening and we have two options to go to Kalgea Point and to go to Battery Point. So we're actually going to do both and we're going to start with Kalgea Point. So this was a really short side excursion. The views are beautiful and you can see the town of Haines from here. And now we're going to hike on to Battery Point. We finished our hike to Battery Point and the views were incredible of the mountains by the water. It was the perfect way to end our adventure exploring around Haines. We did get lost a couple of times, um, so definitely make sure to download the trail on all trails. Make sure you download any trail on all trails, even if you think that the trail is super easy, because there's still a chance that you could get lost, so just do it. We did it and we found our way back on the route, but I'm not sure how we got lost. 
Uh, we didn't get too lost though, but yeah, just download the trail on all trails. It, it doesn't hurt to do it. Exploring Haynes was a lot of fun. It's a really cute little town nestled in the middle of some really epic mountains. And if you have the chance, definitely check out the Battery Point Trail if you only have a little bit of time here. If you have more time, definitely still check out this trail, but also try to check out some of the other trails. There's some really, really epic ones around here. Next, we're heading back up the Haynes Highway, so if you don't want to miss out on that video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in my next video.